Hello everyone, welcome back to Steven Sound. My name is Steven Iovino, owner of Steven Sound, my new YouTube channel I have started for my business. Today we are going to be talking about how to connect your X32 unit, whether it's the X32 rack, X32 producer, X32 compact, even the regular full-size mixer, how to connect it to GarageBand. Now, the reason I chose this is, well, one, I don't have a Pro Tools or, you know, more professional DAW, you know, subscription right now. And number two, this was started as a live sound channel for beginners. So I figured it would be a little better to, you know, really use GarageBand because it is possible. Now, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a few things first. So let me cut right now and show you what you're gonna need. Okay, so first and most important, you're going to need this cable right here. It is a USB 2.0 cable. And essentially you're just gonna plug it right in here and you should see that red light. This is the 32 channel USB audio interface, the expansion slot that comes on all X32 mixers. So you're gonna plug this end, the 2.0 end into the mixer, and then you're gonna have a regular USB going into your computer. Okay, so now that we have that established, what you're gonna do is hit setup and you're gonna scroll all the way over here to card. Okay, so now you're in the card window in the setup menu. Here we go. So this is going to choose how many ins and how many outs you're going to send through this expansion slot. Now, most people will choose 32 in, 32 out. It gives you the most choices, but you can also choose from these selections over here. So we're just gonna stick with 32 in, 32 out. We're gonna head out here, and then we're gonna go to routing. And as you tab over, you're gonna go to card. And what card does is essentially, this shows you what ins, or in this case, what outs, are gonna be sent to your ins in your garage band. So here we go. So on the X32, we know there's 16 local inputs. So on the first 16 slots, local one through eight and nine through 16, the 16 XLR inputs on the back of the board here are going to be sent through the USB cable to your garage band DAW. And essentially when you plug in something in these 16 inputs here, it will send that channel you select on GarageBand to that channel. So let's say you plug in a mic here into channel one on the board. When you select it and everything's connected right, it will go right into GarageBand and you select local in one. Now let's head over to GarageBand and show what that looks like. Okay, so here we are at GarageBand. I'm normally connected to my Scarlett Solo device, but if you click over here, if your X or X32 is connected via the USB 2.0 cable, you should see X-USB, you're gonna click that. And essentially now you have access to the X32. So if we head down here in GarageBand in your track menu and you select here, you're gonna see all the 32 inputs you can choose from right here. So these are all the X32 inputs, one through 32. And if you hit this button, you can do the stereo inputs as well. So let's say you have a stereo channel, you have a linked channel, or you wanna send two tracks into a stereo channel, there you go. There's your one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that is how you send your X32 into GarageBand Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more X32 rack tips, more live sound tips for beginners. And follow me on Instagram at istevenei7 for more. Thank you everybody for clicking on this video and watching and have a great day.